Early phase research involves constantly moving elements, including toxicology results, regulatory requirements, program optimization, study design strategy, and drug readiness. Initial human data are a critical development milestone. Our early phase experts work as an extension of your team to provide tactical options tailored to your asset's early development, guiding you to proof of concept swiftly with a meaningful exit. In this video, Dr. Michael Murphy, Chief Medical and Scientific Officer at Worldwide Clinical Trials, shares his thoughts on the key to conducting a successful early phase clinical trial. The people that work early phase, and by early phase I mean first in human, demonstration of target engagement, prototypical dose ranging studies, proof of concept, early phase. I don't necessarily mean first in human, I somewhat more extensive than that. Those studies are really characterized by what I call intimacy. I need to know who the patient dated at the senior prom because every single patient there is uniquely contributory to a decision that's going to be made. Right? Early phase research doesn't have a cast of thousands. There's a handful of patients. Usually they're highly leveraged. By leveraged, I mean they have clinical characteristics that are not necessarily representative of the eventual population. Why is that? Because early phase, I want to maximize signal, minimize risk, and I want to do it in a very efficient way. So our scientists, our clinicians, our operations staff need to be very familiar with patient subtypes, with how patients actually present, because uh, it affects accrual, it affects retention, it affects how we estimate the budgets. They have to be very comfortable in that kind of space. And that extends into normal volunteer studies, where we increasingly see an interest in clients in doing first in human studies, either in patients or in normal volunteers. Actually, there are many advantages to only doing it in normals, by the way, rather than in patients. The assessments in early phase are very three-dimensional. It's as if I was taking a photograph of a patient 360 degrees. I'm looking at every single aspect of that patient, including their family. Family dynamics are sometimes critically important, right? I'm looking at them biologically, looking at them clinically, looking at them in terms of family interactions and dynamics, all, all very important. And the data that are accrued are going to contribute to what I call an inflection point. We're going to create a decision point around that product very quickly, relatively speaking. And either the product will move on, or it won't, or move on in a very modified fashion. So it's a big event for a client. And most of our clients are really about early phase development efforts, particularly to inflection points. Early phase is about creativity, managing the exception, knowing the science and medicine intimately well, knowing how that interfaces with unique and interesting experimental designs, knowing how to get a layers of assessments on one patient. It's about knowing the patient and the family structure extremely well.